Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Zed Chew with another 7 Days to Die video. Um, now anyone who watched my recent 100, 100 subscribers uh, video will have seen the Pyramid of Doom, which was over there. Um, in that video, we did a Day 700 Horde and the video kind of gave me another idea of a Horde base, or maybe not a Horde base, but just a way to kill the horde hopefully um i'm not sure if this is going to work but we'll try it anyway so basically what i've done is i've emulated the uh, underground entrance to the base over there but what i've done is basically just build a long corridor here um it's all made out of steel and then at the end we've got a like a kill room or a you know room where we're going to try and hold the base or hold the horde down so the idea really is to take on the day 700 horde we have exactly the same uh, weapons load out as we did the the previous horde in and have you know got the same ammo and everything so um yeah i'm gonna see if i can just stay in this corridor and see if the zombies will um well they'll definitely get in but whether they will do it differently maybe they'll climb they'll try and dig down into the soil or will they attack the hatch i don't know so We'll find out. So I'm going to shut the hatch. I'm going to set the time forward to um, uh, 10 o'clock. And I think I'll start kind of maybe halfway down the corridor. Yeah. So I will set the time. Set time. Uh, day 700. 22. No, 21. Uh, 15, 55. There we go. So that sets the time to 21, uh, 21.55. So we've got five minutes to the beginning of the horde. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's see. Okay, here we go. It's horde time. Uh, the horde was massive. It's still set to the same uh, 64 zombies as well as it was previously. Um, so we'll see what they do. I think they're going to just attach the, attack the hatch. Well, I hope so anyway. see what they do yeah I can hear there's a lot of zombies attacking that hatch I want to see how long it actually takes them to get through the hatch in the first place Okay, it's been half an hour uh, in game time and they still haven't got through the hatch yet. So, it's taking them a little while. Right, they made it through. They're coming. Look at them. They're just sort of um, sliding down the hole in a slow manner. That's fine with me. I'll just hold them back with the shotgun, I think, for now. As long as I can. Oh. <laughs> it's like a slithering mass of zombies. Every so often, one of them gets their way out. back a bit we can't keep losing ground like this because eventually we'll run out of room so I think we may have to switch to the switch to this clear out a load so I can move forward again that's what I'll do there we go what the hell Is someone behind me no I thought someone was hitting me there Okay, let's reload, reload. He's gonna blow, I think. Nope. Oh yeah, he was just about to blow. I think I caught him in time. Right there. He's hitting me. Damn. Damn you. He's hidden amongst all the dead bodies. Nope. 
Come on, reload. That's it. So, I mean, if it carries on like this, I think this is going to work just fine. We'll see. I mean, clearly this is not a very efficient way to do a horde because you end up using an absolute ridiculous amount of ammo. But, I mean, so far, these guys are just piling up. They're coming in at a nice, steady rate. Just enough for you to be able to kill them all without um, getting overwhelmed, I think. They're just doing exactly what they need to do. I'm not sure, I think using Molotovs in this tight quarters might be a terrible idea, but let's give that a go. Oh, that kind of worked. Okay. Um, just got a lot of burning zombies coming after us now. Uh oh. That's a demolisher. I can hear him going off. He's gonna blow. Yeah, he's gonna blow. There he goes. Okay. Well, it lit, lit up the passageway anyway, that's for sure. Uh-oh, there's another demolisher. Let's get his button. That's it. Boom. Nice. I mean, he does have to work for you, that guy. Just hit his explosive button. And, uh, kills all his mates. button. There we go. Angered him. Okay. <laughs> Let's try and get this ground back that we lost there. didn't bring any first aid again, so we are. Maybe we need to fall back to get the junk turrets working a little bit. Um, anyway, hopefully, my bleeding will stop soon. <laughs> Come on, junk turrets, do your job. Only, only keep. That's it. Can you just stop bleeding out now? I mean. There we go, finally. Uh, what have we got? Shotgun. Yeah, let's use the shotgun. Oh no, that's not good. Oh god, that's not good. Kill that guy. Oh god, there's two of them. I think this might be the end. This might be the end. Right, we're still alive. Just about. Get this ground back. We need to push them back. Push them back. We need to get them stuck in that cor that that vent way, hatchway. Oh no, there's one behind me. Oh damn it! Damn it! Damn it, asshole! Okay, got him. Killed one demolisher. Can I hit his button from here? Yep, there we go. It's getting blown up. Boom. Oh no, I'm infected. Damn it. Okay, we're two hours into the horde. Uh, still got two hours to go. I don't know how much longer we can survive this. Maybe 
Maybe we should start using some grenades. I think that's a good idea. Don't know. Let's get this guy's button. There we go. Uh, and then swap to grenades. Oops, that's not what I wanted, but that's fine. Oops, didn't pull the thing. Oops, ran out of bullets. Okay. Reload, reload, reload. Need to fall back to the junk turrets. There's a bit of breathing room, I think. Here's the button. Come on. Okay. Come on. Damn you, button. Why won't it? Oh, no, man. It's dead now. This is getting quite intense. I mean, this is not, uh, I wouldn't su suggest this is a good way to do a horde. Definitely not. I mean, it's a fun way to do a horde, but it's definitely not a effective or efficient way to kill loads of zombies. These turrets run out of ammo as well, and I'm screwed. These are my only... If it wasn't for these turrets, I'd be dead right now. Okay. I mean, the risk of um, vultures is low here and here, isn't it? I can't see any vultures getting in, which is good. Damn birds. It's done that um, that glitch thing. I've got 50, 48 bullets in my shotgun. <laughs> Don't have to reload. Amazing. Uh, well, let's just carry on then. Don't have to reload for a while. <laughs> I like this glitch when it happens. It's great. Where'd you come from? Oh wow, look at that. Uh, what the hell? How did you get behind there? Hey! He's like inside a block. That's weird. Um. Okay, well there you have it. Corridor of Death uh, is basically, it's a doable horde. I mean, I wouldn't say it's efficient 
or particularly effective. But, you know, if you want to get a bunch of kills and XP, I mean, unless you have the turrets, don't try this because you will get destroyed. Um, wow, they really, wow, they really dug out a lot of stuff. How do they do all that damage? Um, collect all this loot. See what we got. I mean, that was a big horde, and we did. So Whoa, quite you. Um, let's just um, fly up here. So, what damage is there ab above ground? No damage above ground. You've just got a little hatch. I mean, I think if that was any shorter, we may have struggled. And if we had less ammo, we would have struggled. And if we didn't have any junk turrets, we would definitely be dead. So, um, there you go. That is a corridor of doom. You you need a lot of steel and two junk turrets and a load of ammo and a load of guns and a maxed out character. And you can easily survive the day 700 horde. You just have to stand there and shoot them. So, okay. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, and uh, if you did like it, think about clicking the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.